Deputy Speaker. Uh, research from the Children's Commissioner shows that uh, spending by clinical commissioning groups on speech and language uh, therapies range from £17.61 per child in NHS North Region all the way down to £10.20 per child in Midlands and East NHS Region. When might we have a debate on these regional disparities and on support for, uh, for children with speech and language uh, difficulties, particularly during the coronavirus pandemic? Um, Mr Deputy Speaker, I thank my honourable friend uh, for raising this crucial matter. The Government recognises that speech, language and communication skills are important for child well-being. Um, as a father of six, I know how important this is for children as they grow and develop. Government will continue to prioritise improving early speech and language outcomes across education, health and social care to narrow inequalities. The NHS long-term plan recognises the importance of speech and language therapists. It proposes that local areas design and implement models of care that are age-appropriate, closer to home and bring together physical and mental health services. Uh, unfortunately, the Chairman of the Backbench Business Committee has disappeared, but I hope he's watching the Parliament channel and therefore will have noted my honourable friend's request.